We're going to go north to Jacksonville, Florida, where meteorologist Jen Carfagno with our partners at the Weather Channel is. Uh, Jen, good morning. It seems like things are getting better there. Yeah, Tony, good morning to you. It is getting better here in Jacksonville. We just got in one last rain shower. We're on the outer edges, the outer fringes of Hurricane Milton. It has exited the East Coast. It made landfall, as you know, last night as a Category 3. It was once a two-time Category 5. It kept its hurricane status all the way across the state, exiting this morning at 4.30 off the coast near Cape Canaveral. And as it did, it brought strong winds, hurricane-force winds, actually all the way through Orlando, Daytona Beach, hard hit with winds gusting to 87 miles miles per hour. And those hurricane force winds struck for hours, actually, from Orlando uh, to Daytona Beach. They started gusting sometime close to midnight and continued through early this morning. So no doubt a lot to clean up there in terms of debris and trees um, and even some power lines that are down. Uh, now, here in Jacksonville, this is an area that we were concerned about wind and power outages, concerned about surge, too, because the St. John's River is behind me, and that flows from south to north, exits in the Atlantic Ocean, but when the Atlantic Ocean is pushing back in because of surge, it can slow down that exit here, but uh, so far have not had any major flooding at all. It's been minor, and again, we're on the outer edges of the rain right now. Tony, so many people evacuated from the hurricane landfall zone to here, and I know they're anxiously waiting to see what happened to their hometowns, and they're, they're sitting here in Jacksonville waiting to watch. Watch that. They're waiting for news. We are as well. Jen, thank you very much.